Hey everyone, welcome to George's Library. Today we're going to talk about World Without End by Ken Follett. This book came out in 2007 and is the long-awaited sequel to Pillars of the Earth and the second book in the now-called Kingsbridge Saga. The story takes place in Kingsbridge 200 years after the events of Pillars of the Earth. For those who read the first book, I must say it is a real joy to rediscover the town and see glimpses of special, familiar places and inevitably compare the state of the town with the way you remembered it 200 years before. More so than in the first book, the town feels like a character in itself because politically and structurally, everything in this novel builds upon what happens in Pillars of the Earth, thus adding more to the idea of a sequel. Although it can easily be read as a standalone novel, it's not necessary for you to read the first one in order to understand the events happening in this one. I do highly recommend you read The Pillars of the Earth because it will add a new effect to the story and to your experience as a reader. The main characters are Merton, Ralph, Gwenda, and Karis. We are first introduced to them at the age of 10 and then we watch them as they grow and struggle to achieve their dreams through the years. The characters are all from different social backgrounds, this allowing us to see all the different social classes of the 14th century England. Unlike the first book, this one does not revolve around the building of a cathedral, although there is a lot of building involved in the story. The characters are all descendants of the main characters in the first book, so they all share a lot of personality traits and also physical traits. So much so that sometimes they actually feel like sketches of the main characters in the first book. Although I have to say that the story does not feel like it's repeating itself and because of how much I loved the first book, I cannot say that I dislike the familiarity. The book is filled with twists. There is so much uncertainty about what's going to happen that it's nerve-wracking. How the author manages to keep up this rhythm is impressive. Now, the writing style is similar to the first book. The author decides to go for a more modern approach. Instead of making the characters speak like they would have in the 14th century, they use a way of speaking closer to ours. This way we get to empathize more with them and succumb to that era rather than just observing it. Along with the characters, we deal with the Black Plague, we, we fight in the 100 year war and we struggle with the politics of the time. More so than in the first book, this novel is about the people rather than a construction. You root for these characters. You, you want them to succeed, you, you want them to achieve their goals, and, and you cheer for them when they do. They looked at the view while Karis caught her breath. All Kingsbridge was laid out to the north and west. The main street, the industrial district, the river, and the island with the hospital. Smoke rose from a thousand chimneys. Miniature people hurried through the streets, walking or riding or driving carts, carrying tool bags or baskets of produce or heavy sacks. Men and women and children, fat and thin, their clothing poor and worn or rich and heavy, mostly brown and green but with flashes of peacock blue and scarlet. The sight of them all made Karis marvel. Each individual had a different life, every one of them rich and complex, with dramas in the past and challenges in the future, happy memories and secret sorrows, and a crowd of friends and enemies and loved ones. We only follow the story of these four characters, but the novel lets you know that everyone is interesting, everyone has a complex background, everyone has a life sitting on his back with complex stories and infinite feelings. I have to say I miss Kingsbridge already and I am really looking forward to read the third part in the series. If you like my channel and if you want to hear about more books that I recommend from my library, then please subscribe. And if you have any other info or have any questions regarding the book I presented, then please do that in the comments. I will be very happy to answer and to discuss on the books we read. A book like this works very well in these times of quarantine. Keep on reading and see you next time.